G'day, Damien Battersby from Proactive IT Solutions here with another video. So how's your internet speed? This is a hot topic in Australia with many of us in our businesses struggling to get access to fast speeds for a reasonable price, particularly now the rollout of the MBN has slowed down. We are finding more and more businesses are struggling with their internet access as they move more of their services to the cloud and each week we have conversations with clients giving them advice on what they should do. So today I thought I'd do a quick video on what's available out there with some demonstrations of what those speeds mean practically. The first thing to understand about internet connections is that they're made up of an upload speed and an download speed. Upload speeds come into play when you're uploading data such as sending an email, uploading something to YouTube or putting information into your accounting package that's in the cloud. Download speeds come into play when you're downloading data, that is when you're watching a YouTube video or downloading an email or reading something on a website. So we'll get started now and talk about the most common form of internet which is ADSL. Most Australian businesses have ADSL and we also have it in our homes. Now ADSL is made up of a slow upload speed and a reasonably fast download speed which I'll represent with these two bits of tubing. So if we are sending a big email to a client we might find that when we're uploading it it takes a while. Whereas if we're downloading an email that's from a client equally as big, it comes in reasonably quickly. And that is a fundamental problem with ADSL. Because the upload speed's so slow, we are often maxing it out, especially in businesses that have a lot of cloud content. And so when your internet connection is maxed out with your upload speed, it also impacts on your download speed, which means that most users in an office, if someone's uploading a lot of content, will find their internet is running very slow. So, as you can see, ADSL has some limitations. So, what are your options? Well, that depends largely on the area that you're in. However, for our clients, we find that there are three options that are available. So, the first option we would look at for businesses is a technology called Ethernet over Copper. Ethernet over Copper is like ADSL in that it is delivered through your phone lines. However, it uses more phone lines, and by doing that, it gets you an internet connection with a download speed and upload speed that is equal that I can represent with these two bits of tubing. You generally have the same download speed or a little bit quicker download speed as ADSL, but the upload speed, as you can see, will be a lot faster. Ethernet over copper has some limitations. It can only get to about 20 megabits a second, but that is generally still two to three times quicker in the download speed side when compared to ADSL. It's also not available in all areas, but it is a good alternative as it is reasonably cheap, starting at about two or $300 a month from most providers. If you can't get Ethernet over copper, well then the next option we'd normally look at is one called fixed wireless. Fixed wireless basically involves a wireless access point being put on your roof, pointed to a nearby tower, and that provides you with internet access. Fixed wireless is a good option. It can provide you with a quick connection, often faster than Ethernet over copper, and again, it can have the same upload speed and download speed. So if we look at these two pizza tubing as our fixed wireless, you'll see that they're bigger when compared to our Ethernet over copper, and they are a faster throughput. So we can send a lot more data a lot quicker. Fixed wireless is also quite flexible. If you want a cheaper fixed wireless connection, you can go for an option where you can have a slower upload speed, like this, which provides you with still a good connection, but a little bit slower on the upload, if you don't need that fast upload speed. Now for some businesses where fixed wireless or Ethernet over copper is not available or they have a large demand on uploading and downloading data, the final option is op fiber optics. Now if you're lucky enough to be in an NBN area, you get fiber optics for a reasonable price. However, if you're out of the NBN area, it's quite expensive. However, fiber optics is the big mummer of internet connections you get a really quick connection. 100 megabits is typically what you can get these days. And as you can see, you can get a lot of data through a fiber optic connection. Very quick. The downside to fiber is, like I said, if you're out of an NBN area, it's quite expensive. And prices typically start at about $800 a month. So you have to be a fair sized business and a reasonable user of the internet to really consider it. So there you have it. 
They're the four options that we have for internet that we normally see our clients going with. Hopefully that has helped you to understand what's available and what it means when upload speeds and download speeds are talked about. If you have any more questions regarding internet access or if you're struggling with internet access in your business, feel free to drop me a line and I can talk through your options. Thanks for watching. This is Damien from Proactive IT Solutions.